So in Aliens Fireteam Elite, you'll be unlocking different weapons and different perks for your classes as you're just playing. However, there are some perks and weapons you can only get from hidden caches and by completing missions on a certain difficulty. In this video, I'm going to go over all the different perks you can get from hidden caches, give you a tip for easily finding the hidden caches every time. I'm also going to go over the different weapons you can get from the missions as mission rewards, and I'm going to share with you the different rewards you can get from Horde Mode. Hey guys, this is Chris with BNB Gaming. Welcome back, and I hope you're doing amazing today. Thank you for taking the time to check out this video. Thank you for all your likes, your shares, your comments. Definitely appreciate it. Now to start with guys, let's talk about the hidden caches and the perks you can get out of them. Now to start with, I have a tip for you on how to find the hidden caches. Now as I said earlier, every mission has a hidden cache. And one thing I guess people aren't aware of is that the hidden caches let off a distinctive sound. To me it sounds kind of like an old refrigerator, but once you hear that sound and your brain recognizes it, you'll find it every time. Sounds like something just turned on. Somebody take the gear. Grab it. One thing I found very useful is adjusting my audio settings. Here I have 100 master volume. I left the UI volume at 100 so I could hear the motion tracker and evidently the hidden caches and turn the FX volume down to 90, turn the character voice volume down to 90, and the music volume down to 85. And I've been able to find a hidden cache just by hearing it on every level ever since. Finding 50 hidden caches will award you the keen eye achievement slash trophy. As far as the perks you can get from the hidden caches, to start with, we have thermal venting. Here it says overclock further increases your own fire rate by 25%. For the demolitionist, we have rampage. Killing an enemy grants a stack of rampage. At 25 stacks, your fire rate, reload speed, and movement speed are greatly increased, but your stability is decreased last eight seconds. For the technician, we have creative pain point solutions. You and your turret deal 10% more damage to slowed enemies. With Doc, we have Neurotoxin Specialist. Doing damage to an enemy weakens them. No, no kidding. Causes them to deal 20% less damage for 5 seconds. Does not stack. For the Recon, we have Red is Dead. You and your teammates deal an additional 10% damage to reveal targets. And from what I've read, this is an excellent perk to have on your recon. And finally, we have Aftershock for the new Phalanx class. It says Shock Pulse leaves behind an electric field for 10 seconds, slowing any enemies that make contact with it. Again, very powerful and, and I want it because I don't have that one yet. Now, in addition to the hidden caches, there are also some weapons you can only get as mission rewards. And the key is you have to play on intense or higher difficulty. To start with, we have the Kramer Assault Rifle, which is an auto rifle. We have the AM-16 Grupa, which is a DMR. We have the LEM MP-11 Storm Surge, which is an SMG. We have the Type 76 Auto Shotgun, which is a shotgun. And I do have this one and it's actually really good. Next, you can also get the Type 78 Burst Pistol, which is a handgun. And finally, you can get the M12 RPG Launcher for your Demolisher. So besides the hidden caches and mission rewards for intense or higher difficulty, you can also get specific rewards from Horde Mode. Now to start with, we have B10 Waves. So this can be on casual, standard, or whatever you want. And you get the Machine Gun Emote. <laughs> now if you keep going to wave 20 you can get the enhanced reach 2 perk which increases the radius of an ability by 13% which is very useful on gunner's grenade ability. Next we have some rewards that are a little more challenging to get. We have the horde slayer weapon skin, we have the horde slayer outfit, and we have the horde slayer headgear. Now to get the horde slayer weapon skin set you have to beat 10 waves on intense difficulty. To get the Horde Slayer outfit, you have to beat 10 waves on extreme difficulty. 
And finally, you guessed it, to get the headgear, you have to beat 10 waves of Horde on insane difficulty. I actually got the Horde Slayer weapon skin last night with a couple buddies, and it wasn't bad at all. I do have a couple tips if you're interested. We use two technicians with the flame turrets, which from what I understand is the meta right now. It's the most powerful, you know, kind of setup in the game. In addition, we also had a maxed out gunner for the overclock ability to take care of the elites. What we found was putting down a flame turret in the different choke points, throwing down charge coils, and what we really found useful were the cryo grids and shock grids. What we did was set them down on waves eight, nine, and 10 when the really big elites start flooding in. And if for some reason my charge coil ran out, they would hit that cryo grid, freeze them, and we could just ammo dump on them and handle them as they came in. <laughs> now, whether or not that works on extreme and insane, I guess we're gonna find out tonight. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Do you have all the mission reward weapons? Do you have all the perks from the hidden caches? Are you a monster who has the full Horde Slayer set? So you have the weapon skin set, the outfit, the headgear? Let us know in the comments below. For me, I've been slow playing Aliens Fire Team Elite. I haven't been putting like a ton of time into it. I've been playing maybe two, three hours a night here. And I have about half my classes maxed out. The other ones are really close. I have about half the rewarded mission weapons, half the hidden cash perks, and I have the Horde Slayer weapon skin. I think we'll be able to get the Horde Slayer outfit here, hopefully tonight, and then insane? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll wait until they release like a patch where there's like a, something broken in there <laughs> so I can get it. We'll have to wait and see.